Ethereum might be one of the few projects in crypto that suffers from its own success, which says a lot about its rise in adoption. While this is a good thing, it comes with its challenges, especially high fees and network congestion. But the crypto industry is a hotbed for projects solely focused on solving problems. And for Ethereum, this comes in the form of Layer 2 solutions. Arbitrum is one of the several Layer 2 networks providing scaling solutions for Ethereum. So in this video, we will find out more about Arbitrum and its latest developments. Stick till the end to find out the top five projects on the network. All right, let's start off by finding out more about the scaling solution, how it works and what makes it unique. Let's get into it. Arbitrum helps decongest Ethereum by executing transactions on its chain and only recording the output on Ethereum. This scaling technology is known as a roll-up, as the transactions on Arbitrum are rolled up into one transaction recorded on the Ethereum mainnet. But wait a minute, how can Ethereum verify the correctness without executing the transactions? Well, this is where proofs come in. Arbitrum specifically uses optimistic roll-up technology, which relies on fraud proofs that assume posted data is valid unless challenged. From the name, they are basically optimistic in the sense that when they post the updated state to Ethereum, they do this without posting any proof at all. So a quick example, say James posts a roll-up block containing a claim about what is the correct outcome of executing some transactions. Other nodes who are incentivized to submit only valid claims execute the same transactions and can post a challenge if they disagree with John's claim. Now keep in mind also that there is another type of roll-up technology known as zero knowledge rollups, which also execute transactions off chain, but instead of fraud proofs, they rely on validity proofs. Now, validity proofs post batches of transactions through cryptographic proofs called ZK snarks. That said, currently Arbitrum has two live chains, the newly launched Arbitrum Nova, optimized for gaming and social applications, and Arbitrum One, Arbitrum's flagship product, which is a scaling solution for DeFi and NFTs. Now, since its public launch in 2021, its ecosystem has been growing fast. So here are top five projects on Arbitrum right now. At number one, we have GMX, a decentralized spot and perpetual exchange. First built on Arbitrum and currently the biggest project by total value locked on the chain. GMX's decentralized spot trading protocol allows investors to perform cryptocurrency swaps. Its most popular product is the decentralized perpetual contract trading platform, where perpetual contract traders could use up to 30 times leverage on the GMX exchange. At the core functionality of the GMX exchange is a community-owned and unionized liquidity pool. The pool serves users in two major ways. First, it is used by the automated market maker to serve the decentralized spot exchange. Now, second, the leverage trading algorithm uses the GLP pool to service loan requests by traders who can borrow up to 30 times the value of their collateral. Now note that derivatives trading is very risky and is not advisable for beginners. So feel free to watch our video on crypto derivatives right here. Okay, at number two, we have Uniswap, one of the biggest DEXs by TVL in DeFi. The DEX came up with the automated market maker model that allows users to trade without a counterparty and only against a liquidity pool controlled by a smart contract. Users have a variety of products to use from swapping tokens to providing liquidity and staking their tokens. Uniswap launched on Arbitrum in August 2021 to allow its users to enjoy low gas costs and speedy transactions. The platform has a TVL of over 101 million on Arbitrum at the time of making this video, making it the second biggest project in the chain. 
Then Uniswap's rival SushiSwap is also an Arbitrum. The DEX launched as a hard fork of Uniswap and has grown to be one of the most popular decentralized exchanges in DeFi. As one of the earliest projects to get into Arbitrum, SushiSwap allows users to swap different tokens, borrow and lend, and provide liquidity all without giving up custody of their funds. The platform has a TVL of over 90 million in Arbitrum at the time of making this video. Okay, next up on the list is Stargate, a fully composable cross-chain bridge protocol that enables native asset transfers between different blockchain networks. So Stargate tries to solve the issue with traditional bridges that are unable to send native assets from one chain to another and instead rely on the use of a wrap token to complete the bridging process. Basically, Stargate is designed to let users send native tokens directly to non-native chains through unified liquidity pools shared between chains. The project is one of the biggest on Arbitrum despite being only a couple of months old. Okay, last but not least, we have Curve, a project working towards becoming the biggest AMM for stablecoins. Curve has many similarities to platforms like Uniswap, but differentiates itself by only accommodating liquidity pools made up of similarly behaving assets like stablecoins or wrapped versions of similar assets such as WBTC and TBTC. By focusing on stablecoins, it allows investors to avoid more volatile crypto assets and focus on stability rather than speculation. So the race to be the number one scaling solution for Ethereum is truly on and Arbitrum seems to be one of the favorites as it stands. That said, whichever project takes its place as the dominant scaling solution, the real winners will be the users and developers who will get to enjoy faster and cheaper transactions without sacrificing security. So, which project do you see becoming Ethereum's dominant scaling solution in the coming years? Arbitrum, Optimism, or Polygon? Well, give us your thoughts in the comments below. Also, of course, remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our socials for future alpha. See ya.